No, leave. Hi, what I'd like to do is share with you now my new pup, this is Holly, and I'd like to show you how my way of training has been with the dogs over the years. This is probably my last Labrador, which is a beautiful little bitch, Holly, um, and she's already been out working with me. A little walk today, our first walk, we'll try and film tomorrow's, and it's in her naturally, isn't it, little pups? And she and I are going to be great pals, and I want to show you the gentle and caring way that I've learned to develop to train dogs. And it might just help you with yours, and I think you'll enjoy sharing our little life here as well. Hey Holly, what did you think? Yes, good dogs. Yes, that's right. Come on then. As you would for having a child or a baby, you need to prepare ahead for your puppy. We had to prepare having the right food in, having the right bedding. She also had to be booked into the local vets for her injections and inoculations. One problem we had at first was that the breeder hadn't realised she had Guardia and also a urinary infection. It took three lots of antibiotics before we even had that dealt with. But once this has been cleared up and she started feeding properly, then, if you'll forgive my pun, she came forward in leaps and bounds. But until the full course of injections had been done, she couldn't be allowed out to see other dogs or take walks outside. So of course health and diet are very important, as are the inoculations. And then of course there's the house training itself, getting the puppy used to going outside and not toilet inside the house. Luckily we live a country life, so don't expect a spick and span house, especially with a puppy. And possibly because I like fairly loud music and television, dogs have never had a problem with me and with loud noises, fireworks or bangs afterwards. I've never had to acclimatise any dog to a gun. It's always been fine to start with. The first thing to do is bond with your dog, to become its best friend, to become its leader, but also its father, mother or whatever. And then you can start to train it because it will love you and follow you. There has to be a kind mixture between discipline and fun all the time. Good girl, good dog, good dog, good bitch, good dog. Good girl! Good girl! Come here! Come here! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Here! Holly here! Holly here! Come on! Good girl! Good girl! And like a child, any animal is going to be expensive at times in its upkeep and maintenance. As soon as you can, get an insurance policy for your animal because vet's bills can be extremely expensive if anything goes wrong. And if you've paid out good money, as you should have done, for a well-bred dog, then you don't want anything to go wrong, not just because of that, but mainly because you love the animal. When I start training, I start with the basics of safety. That means stopping to whistle on hand and command, because stopping is the most vital thing of all, so your dog doesn't run in front of a car or go where it shouldn't, and you have instant control. Then it's walking on the lead, walking to heel, not pulling, and again stopping to whistle whenever you call. The dog has to learn command to the whistle, to your own whistle from your mouth, to word and to hand. Hand signals for a gun dog are vital, because when it's too far out of range for your voice, it has to work to your hands. Unlike a child, the dog will also work to the tone of your voice, to the ambience of you, to your body language and everything. If you're frustrated, it can reflect in your teaching. If you become angry, it can show, and the dog will know, and it will put it off. Lessons need to be fun and kind, if at all possible. Good dog. Good dog. 
Good girl. Are you here? Are you here? Good girl. Good girl, yes. Good dog. Drop it now. Drop it. Drop it. Good dog. I believe in the fact that all good teaching works by praise and giving your student confidence. The same with the dog. The more it trusts you, it becomes compound interest. The more it will do for you. The more it trusts you, the more it will take risks without thinking too much and without worrying. Good dog, yes! What are you doing, Holly? What are you doing? for you to try this morning. Yes, we'll try this, shall we? Go on, get it. Good dog. Good dog. Come on. Holly here. Holly here. Holly here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Start off simply with very short lessons. Make it fun. As soon as the dog gets bored or starts being stupid, don't get annoyed. Let it stop. Take it back later and always make it fun to start with. The more fun, the more intense the lesson will be. Some people think they can dominate animals or dominate even people and beat them into submission. I don't believe you can get a really good well-trained gun dog that way. People have personalities and I believe that animals have personalities in the same way, very different personalities. One dog needs to be trained differently to another. All I'm doing is giving you some of the very basics. We need to look at the way the dog interacts with other animals as here, how it interacts with other people. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Let your dog play as well, let it have fun, show it kindness, and in between, bring it back and show who's boss, kindly and firmly, and then start the training in between. I've heard many strange beliefs from gun dog trainers and even horse trainers. With some there's a stoical idea that your dog mustn't have fun, that it must be kept outside in the cold and miserable, that it can't be allowed in the bedroom, that it can't be allowed to do so many normal things that a child would do in a house. I don't say you have to pamper your dog, but it should be treated with kindness and care and as part of the family. Right, for this next part I'm going to take Holly for a short walk. I always take my stick with me anyway because I need that for walking with my walking problems but it's very useful also when training a dog but remember the stick is never used to beat the dog it is never used to hit the dog the stick is only for my own use of walking and for guidance for the dog we'll see how I use it quite simply to assist by holding it in front of the dog to keep the dog back a little bit at the most maybe if the dog is very forward you might just give it the slightest tap on the nose but I only just mean a touch I never have to touch the dog um, this one particularly is very sensitive and the most important thing is that we've already built up our relationship with it, that we've got the bonding going, that the dog wants to please, this is what we want to happen, is that the dog will want to please us um, and that the, therefore the more stern the warning the more she'll take it uh, to heart. It's always a, a thing of, of reward isn't it? All teaching is by giving confidence surely and if we can give the student confidence then it's compound interest. They will trust us, they will do more, they'll be confident in what they do and they'll become better and better because they'll trust us more and they'll do more. So we've got to give this dog confidence in achieving and we do that by the dog wanting to do it, by, by making this dog want to please us. So we're in control but we're not control freaks. Um, we're going to just guide the dog and let its natural instincts come out, but we're going to guide those instincts. We need to be in control for its safety. That's the main point. So here I'm going to do a lesson on sitting to the whistle and we must be very clear in our um, commands. When I do a, a stop, a sit, I want it to go and I will also bring my hand downwards, which will make the dog stop to my hand. Either that or that, which you can see from a distance as well. These hand movements need to be from a distance while I'm pointing to go to one way later on when we start to get the dog to work, to go to seek something, or whether I'm saying stop, sit. So the whistle will be <whistles> downwards, as will the whistle that I blow and my hand signal. And it will also be to sit with a very strong T as well. So we've got verbal, we've got visual, and we've got the sound of the whistle. We've also got then to see gone. <whistles> to see gone or to come back to us and when the, the dog will gradually learn to know, to look up, to watch for these and watch for these commands. The dog should also be aware of us the whole time. We want that dog, although it's very involved in seeking, at the corner of its eye it should always be watching us. It should be attentive. 
We want to keep that going as well. We have to be in control and we can't be in control if the dog isn't attentive to us as well. So hopefully you'll see all this and this is only her second walk out in the countryside. So you'll see the natural ability she has but also how we're using her psychology to link with it as well. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Come. You seek. Good girl. You seek. I've also heard it said that many trainers believe you can't train a gun dog to be a jack of all trades. Not for picking up, not for driven work, not for flushing and so on, not for wild fowling. I think you can train a dog to be as near damn it as everything if you're careful in the way you go. Good dog. So in this case you see me training the dog using its natural instincts and psychology. I start with its wish to have fun and retrieve. A small bowl at first, then onto a smaller dummy, then a larger dummy, then a smelling of game to get it used to what game is about. Different types of birds as well, not just one. And then using that bird as a dummy as well to retrieve. Then it gets used to the smell of those same things in the countryside as now. It gets used to working naturally as well as being held back and in control. We're using the same control with the whistle and the same control in the lead and then working it gently, steadily, bit by bit, at the dog's own pace, each dog being an individual and a personality. Good dog. Stay there. Lead off you now. There we go. There's a good girl. There's a good dog. Come on then. Seek on. Seek on. Move on. Good girl. Come on. Two whistles to go, one to stop. Good dog. She's just walking nicely ahead of us. Don't want her too far ahead, just keep him close. Good dog. That's a good girl. That's what we want. She should know the smell of pigeon. Let's see if we can find a pigeon's feather here from one that we shot earlier. And just see if she'll fetch that for me. Good girl. Holly here. Holly here. Good girl. Heel. Heel. Holly here. Heel. What's this look? What's this? What's this look? What's this? Yes, you go fetch that. Good dog. Fetch it here. Fetch it here. Good girl, yes. Good girl. Drop it. That's a good dog. Come on then. Good the girl. Ditch is to us quite small, but to a dog, it's going to be quite big. And she's going to be a bit afraid of this, so we'll see how she goes. Holly, come. Holly, come. Holly, come. Holly, come. Here, Holly. <whistles> come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. There you go. Come on. We help her over a bit. Come on. Good girl. Come on then. Up. Good dog. There we go. There we've got over that fear, haven't we now? Come on and seek on. Come on, Holly. Good girl. Good dog, steady. At the moment, I'm using a lot of verbal commands. Lots of good dog, good dog, and lots of enthusiasm in my voice to give her motivation. But as time goes on, she'll need less and less. And hopefully, by the end of this film, and into the next one, you'll see me working her with very few voice commands at all. Just the odd bit of encouragement and certainly praise at the end of a good uh, command. Good girl, good girl. Now she's going to start seeking amongst a slightly different terrain now. Huh? We'll see how her nose does there. Had a little walk her first time this morning and she did very well. It's good to see her nose at work like this. Thoroughly enjoying it. Heel now, that's a good girl. Stay back behind the stick, that's a good girl. Try to keep negative vibes in your voice and tellings off down as much as possible because when the dog is told off it has to matter. So if you need to be firm it needs to be an unusual thing so the dog is pulled up by it. Not something that's happening all the time. No good shouting at your dog all the time. Talk quietly most of the time and just give it a bit of harshness just occasionally when it needs pulling up. So we've got to say hello Holly. Come and say hello. Got to get acclimatised to other dogs now, haven't you? There's a good girl. There's a good dog. Yes, come on. Can you say hello to this doggy? Yeah, come on. Come here. There's a good girl. There's a good dog. Yes. She's a nice, gentle doggy. Yes. Calmness in you will install calmness in the dog. If you're all over the place or nervous or frustrated, it will show and the dog will know. When you're introducing it to other animals, of course, try and make sure that the other animal isn't going to give it a bad experience. It's not going to attack it. Also, you have to make the dog aware that it can't take liberties as well. Good dog. Now we're going to try a little experiment. First time ever. Sit. Stay. Stay there. Stay there. Good girl. Stay. Sit down. Sit down. We've got to do this over and over again, haven't we? Stay there. Stay there. Good girl. Stay there. Sit down. Sit down. Stay. Stay. 
Good girl, come. Good girl, come. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Try again in a minute, shall we? Very nervous yet, aren't you? <whistles> sit down, sit down, sit down, stay. Stay there, good girl, stay, good girl. Stay there. Come here now, come here, good girl. Show a little bit. Now we're going to take you for your first time ever out to the beach to find all this lovely puddles and lots of space for little dogs. Come on then, off we go. So much space, I'm sure we'll go find them all. Yes, that's a good girl. Try and remember back to when you were a child and how you were running after your mother, how her one stride was four of yours. This dog is a tiny pup and we have to remember the size and scope of new things to it must be very frightening. So the more you can acclimatise it and put it at ease and get it used to having fun, the more it trusts you the better. Yes, good dog, good girl, good dog, there's a good girl, yes, this is fun, hey, yes. Good dog. Now, will she fetch a ball in water? What's this thing? What's this thing? Honey dog. Honey Just dog. because your dog doesn't do something straight away, it won't mean that she won't do it later or change. If you're gentle, if you push her too hard to become angry, it may put her off doing it for life. Here she won't fetch this ball at first. We have to go very, very steadily and use the psychology, get it back onto land so she's happy with it, then, then into shallow water. And gradually we persuade her to take it out of the water and do something unnatural, put her face under a liquid she's never seen before. By the end of this film we have the dog plunging into water, picking up something that it, uh, is wet and doesn't like and is distasteful, the dummy, and bringing it back and retrieving it with thumb and feeling safe and secure. Good dog, good dog, come on, is it here? Good girl, yes. Good fetch, good fetch, good dog, good fetch it, come on, come on, come on, you can fetch, good fetch, good dog, good girl, good girl, good, good dog, good girl, come on, you'll get it, you're trying aren't you, come on, come on then, come on, good girl, good fetch it, good fetch it, come on, come on, come on, good fetch, good dog, good dog, fetch it, good dog, Come on, good dog, good girl. There we are, you see? Fetch, good dog, good girl. Fetch it here, good dog. There we are. You see, we've gone from that scared little puppy in the new environment to a little puppy who's adventurous and is going to get out there and look around and find everything, but still stay close enough to come to me. Heel cow. She's not sure about long grass, so we'll have a look in here. Come on then. Come on then. Good dog. You go find him. Yes, there we go. You soon get used to it. And of course, after a good run like that, make sure they're nice and warm and they'll be hungry as well. So, look after the comfort of your dog in all ways. And munch up a whole bowl of food straight away after that walk. It's a good girl. And after all that, your pup deserves a well deserved rest. She'll be tired. Let her have a good sleep. Here we are early morning. Got Patrick out on the decoys with me. We've got this rape field. See if we can get anything. So it's Holly's first time out with the decoys. She's tied up today, but if we get a, a live an injured bird, we'll try her out. Come on, Holly here, good girl, come on, Holly up, come on, good girl, good girl, come on then, come fetch, come fetch, come fetch, what's this, good dog, fetch it there, fetch it there, fetch it, there's a good girl, you fetch it, you fetch it, good dog, you fetch it here, Holly here, Holly here, good girl, good girl, good girl, there's a good girl, that's your first ever pigeon, what a good dog, yes, what a good dog. Come on then. Look at that then, Patrick. Well done, mate. Patrick's got his second pigeon ever. And 
the decoys, well done Patrick too. If we make these experiences positive and pleasurable, then the dog will always want to do them again, yes. and you can take it further. Yes, you have that, won't you? Yes, you will, yes. Yes, leave it now. Cut a good dog. Leave. 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 I just wanted to let her have a chance to work with an older, more experienced dog, get under that cover, and we had hoped to see a pheasant come out of here, and I thought then I would actually need the older dog to retrieve the pheasant, as Holly's still a bit small. To walk these dogs together properly, I'm going to have to have them both on the leads together walking on my left side, which they aren't used to yet. This is her first time out with Lottie. I was saying that at times it can be useful to have an older dog leading a younger dog. In this case, as the puppy gets into the car, we see her just lo leap up straight away with no problems at all, not having to be lifted, simply following the older dog. It's important we build up the training bit by bit, longer and longer, more and more. The sit and stay, for instance, when we walk away. It started at only one foot, and eventually we will finish up at 50 to 60 yards away, with the dog not even being able to see us, and not moving until we whistle. Again, it's vital for the dog's safety. Stay there. Good girl. Good girl, yes. That was very good. That was very good, Holly, yes. Good girl, yes. Good girl, stay. Good girl, stay. Sit down, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Here we're just starting to teach the dog to sit before we let her retrieve. She must not retrieve until she's told to normally. Come on, hold it here. Here, good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl. Come we increase the distance she's asked to wait before asking her to come back, showing her it's safe, showing her reward all the time, showing her that everything is okay and she can trust us. Getting the dog used to being patient and not rushing out as soon as a shot is fired. Only doing what she's expected to do and asked to do and trying to do. Good girl, fetch it there. Good girl. Good girl. You fetch it. Good girl. Come on then. Fetch it here. Good girl. Good girl. Fetch it. Good dog. Fetch it here. Good dog. Good dog. Fetch it here. Lottie, the black Labrador, came to us as a rescue dog from the rescue centre locally. She's got a wonderful pedigree and has tremendous potential, but she'd been abused by the previous owner and trainer. He pushed her too hard and made her afraid of men. She now really only works for my partner. She won't really work for me as well as she could. This is one of the reasons I got little Holly. You see, with the training she's had, and now the comfort she's got with us and the trust she's got with us, she's a changed dog. She's no longer the nervous, strange, paranoid animal that she was and is a nice, steady black Labrador. Good dog. Good dog. Come. Heel. Here. Come. Rotty. 
heel, 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 heel. Good dogs, good dogs. Holly Hill, Holly Hill. Good dogs, stay. Go on, good dogs. So we're doing the, the heel without the lead, just walking behind the stick. But don't think for one minute that everything always goes swimmingly and smoothly. There are so many frustrating times. There are so many times when you get really angry. But you mustn't let that show. You must remain calm. And you must trust and hope that you can get that dog to work. What I want to do this lesson is get Holly's retrieval senses going. Not only her visual senses in seeing me throw the dummy, but also where it lands. But the main thing is to start getting her using her nose to seek an area and try and smell things out, find them. This takes a bit of getting used to. Good dog, good dog. Where is it? Where is it? Fish it, fish it, holly fetch! Good dog, good girl, good dog, good dog, good dog, Try it. good girl. And we've got to send her back for the dummy. Good girl, sit, sit. You know, the purpose of this exercise in sending the dog back for a dummy is one memory so that she's been shown where it is and she has to go back. Also, it's a straight line of sight, so as I point back, she's going with my hand back to the object. Good girl, good girl. Yes, that's nice. again. Right, we do the drop. Right, we do the drop dummy again. Sit there. Sit there. Wait for me. Good dog. Go fetch. Come on, go fetch. Come on. Come on, go fetch. Go fetch it, go fetch it. Good dog, good dog. Good girl. Good dog. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Come on then. Good girl, come on. Good girl, good dogs, yes. Good dogs. Go fetch. Now when your dog's had enough, just plain tired. No good pushing it. She's not getting away with it. She'll do it later when she's had enough. She's got some more energy. So just let it go. She's worked hard. Come on then. Sit, but stay as I go around a bend and hope she doesn't come around after us until she's whistled. Here, Holly! Good dog. Stay, 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 sit, stay. Stay, sit down, sit! Stay. That's good. Good girl, what a good dog! What a good girl! There's a good girl! Stay there! Stay! Stay! Hold here! Hold here! Hold here! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good dog! Yes, a good dog! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl!